Hi there, this is the second devlog video on my node system that I'm creating for Unity. And with all the progress that I was able to achieve after my previous devlog, I think this project is ready to be shared with you guys so you can try it out for yourself and give me valuable feedback. So let's start with going through what I have achieved in that time. In the previous devlog, I mentioned that I needed to improve the debris explosion and that's exactly what I did. And now if I go to my plane, and set the debris count to 1500 and click play, you can see how much more of debris that debris explosion can handle. So there's more room to improve, but I'm happy with the result right now for this node. The new big thing that I created since the previous devlog is the ability of making the game run infinitely. So here in the assets, I have a levels and here you can see that they have part one, part two, part three and start. And that's just a couple of parts that I created. So how those parts are used is on my main camera. I have a script load next. And in that script, I have a game object array that you can pass in, which are the parts that I created. And also the first part. This script checks for when it needs to load the next part. And once it reaches that threshold of loading next part, it randomly chooses one of those and loads it. To show you how it works, let's play the game. So at the top I have the scene view and here's the game view and when we click play you can see that the parts get loaded once the threshold is reached and then when the threshold is reached for deletion the first parts get removed and to get that to work I created some new nodes which we're going to take a look next. I decided to start trying to organize the nodes and to do that I created category folders and the new nodes that I created since the previous devlog are game logic nodes. So if we go inside there, we can see there's three nodes here. The load next node, which is responsible for loading the next part of our game. And a restart node, which I have it connected to the canvas. And it's a script that I can access when the button gets clicked on the game over object. So when you get game over, if you click on the screen, it triggers the restart now method of the restart node. And also I did a lot of work on the score node. And currently I have two types of scores that are supported, points and coins. And you can see them working during the game. So if you collect the red stars, it adds you one point. And if you collect the gold stars, it adds you two coins. And if we take a look at our point prefab, we can see that score node being used right here. So there's option for amount and you can select score type, points or coins. Also I added another input node and I called it touched. It can be triggered by a mouse and it can also be triggered by a phone touch. So if we take a look at a plane, here's the touched node and on press, I trigger the jump now method. So that's the new input node. And in movement, I did a lot of improvement with the move node and also added a rotate node. And my point game object uses the rotate node and that's the options that are available for that node. The next node that I created was a remove if off screen. And this node is responsible for removing a part from the game when it's no longer in our view. The last node that I created is a UI node and I called it temp UI because it's not a final uh, node. I just threw something together real quick so I can display those points and coins in the UI. So that's the work I did with the nodes. Now, if you want to download and try these nodes, there's a download link in the description and it can be a Unity package. And I used the version 2019.4 for it. So what you do after you download is you can create a new project 2019.4, select a 2D project, then you can create a project name and click create. After the new project is created, you can go to your project and drag the Unity package inside the assets folder, drop it there, and you should get the import Unity package window. You can leave everything checked and click import. And then you get a prompt to reload the sample scene because it was replaced and click reload. And just like that, you should be able to download and test this project on your own. The art asset that I'm using in this test game is one of the Kenny's asset pack. You can find a download for him on his website. So that's a quick update on my project. If you have time, check out this project on your computer and give me some feedback on it. I'll make some videos on how to use the nodes soon. So stay tuned for that. And that is it for this video. 
Hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on what I'm doing. And I'll see you in the next video.